I can't stand it. I really... I can't stand when you log on to your social medias and you see a content creator or an influencer and their post begins with the phrase, a lot of you have been asking. Nobody's asking. Nobody's asking about your skincare routine. Nobody's asking about this, that, or the third. Keep that in mind because I have genuinely gotten a few questions about a recent, not so recent, but a video I made a couple of months ago. And that was a video where I customized a pair of All Star Chicago 3s and painted them black to look like the black cement 3s, as you can see right here. I've actually gotten a lot of questions about that. How have they been holding up? Has the paint survived? I've actually put these to the test and worn them quite a lot. And I can tell you, there's a few things I did wrong. The reason I can tell you that is because in a few spots, the paint actually is cracking. So if the camera would focus in on that little portion right there, you could see right here, there's a little bit of paint cracking. And that's exactly where, when you're walking, your shoe is gonna bend. And if you don't do it right, if you do it like I did, the paint's gonna crack a little bit. Now, that being said, over the majority of the upper of the shoe, I see no blemishes or uh, paint chipping where I had laid down plenty of layers of black paint. Now, I laid down plenty of layers of black paint across the entire upper, but on both shoes, in the exact same spots, on the right shoe, it's on both the lateral and the medial side, you can see a little bit of, a little hairline crack in the paint. A uh, really thin crack, you can see a little bit of the red poke out, and um, that's just on me. So like I mentioned in the video where I actually customized those, it was the first time I was doing a custom. I've never really done one before, so I had a feeling that I would see a little bit of uh, paint cracking here and there. Now, I really appreciate you guys who have commented and asked how the paint has held up, you know, a little bit of advice about how to customize their shoes. I've tried to respond to every comment that I get. I try to respond to every comment I get and I have gotten a couple where they asked me, hey, how was the paint held up? How did the custom survive after wearing it? I can tell you right now, I did a lot of things right, but I think it was just the quality of the paint. The paint wasn't exactly new. Uh, if the quality of the paint was like brand new, straight from Angelus, like I probably would have gotten a better result and uh, longer life on the, the coats of paint, but this is just what's gonna happen when you wear customs that aren't done by a professional. Speaking of professional customs, if you guys haven't already checked out my video where I reviewed and unboxed the Mosh Centralia Runner, go ahead and check that out. I was really excited to unbox these and I'm really excited to have them in the collection. This is a fantastic shoe and honestly seeing all the different colors, seeing the shirt that I'm wearing right now, you could probably match it up with almost any kind of outfit, which I think is kind of cool. Um, it's very loud, very um, different, unique from any other shoe I own in the collection, so that's why I really like it. But if you guys haven't already checked that out, go ahead and do so. Anyway guys, thanks again for commenting and asking about the uh, how the shoe has held up over time. It's held up quite well. There's your answer. So until next time guys, this is Andrew signing off. Peace. Too far.